Okay, maybe 15 minutes starts now. For this project, I'll be doing a short film and I'll be uh, working by myself and we'll be taking the roles of cinematographer and editor. I'll be focusing on the female time for this project. Uh, so far, I have improved on editing on Premiere Pro using different transitions which could help towards the theme time and showing any dream sequences which I might be doing for my short film. The second project which we did since September 2017 was a short film which influenced me quite a lot. I enjoyed doing this and taking part in this on the cinematographer and parts of the editor while editing the full short film together. My idea is about someone who has a reoccurring dream. This might include nightmares and being stuck in their own dreams and how they can get out of it. This will be presented to people as a short film and my piece will be available on YouTube and my Wix website. This will be screened to my class and will be taking their opinions and see what's good and what's not good about it and how I can improve it to make it better. My targeted audience for my short film will be 16 and above. I haven't got a, a pro proper uh, age range yet. It will appeal to them because some of this might be too adult for people under the age of 16 because they explore the nightmares more. I've done some research, uh, secondary research, uh, includes in reoccurring dreams and what they might mean some films which explore the theme of time, which includes Inception, which focuses on dreams quite a lot. This will, be, this will benefit me as it might give me more ideas for the story and who the char characters might be and how they might be feeling in their own dreams. I've carried out primary research, this includes a questionnaire and a focus group which asks people about my ideas and seeing which one they like the most and how I can improve on the story to make it better. I've asked what people think of recording my entire short film on an iPhone. I got some inspiration from this from the upcoming, mo upcoming movie, uh, Unsane. I wanted to see how they did it and how this might work for my own short film. This will help for my cinematographer role, which I want to explore more. I've asked people which idea they like out to and how I can film the story to make it better using the phone. Some, some of the techniques which I want to do uh, will include uh, using different phone camera equipment if I do use my own phone to record my entire short film on. This includes a gimbal, this will help for some of the cinematic shots and showing the scenery and filming any tracking shots of the characters walking or running. Using the gimbal will make this easier for me. I haven't used it, but I want to explore it more to see how it is used. This might be suitable for my short film and in the future for any film which I'll be doing. I want to do an experiment for changing the visuals. This includes changing the colours of what's on the screen. This will help for my spinal piece because I want the audience to know when the character is in the dream world and when he is out of it. 13 reasons why it does this well showing when, it's, when it is present day and when it, is in, when it is in the past. This will help for my editor. I'll be doing experiments for the tracking shot, using the gimbal, holding my phone with my hands and using the chair of wheels to see which one looks more smooth and more cinematic. If that doesn't go to plan for my experiment, I'll be doing different transitions. This will help for my dream sequences to know where the main character goes in and out of the dream and into the real world. This is my action plan timetable. Doing the reflective journals will help a lot because it will uh, show how I've developed my ideas and making it go further into the production side. All, of this, all my work will be on the Wix website on Word documents and PowerPoints. My evaluation of the idea, I'll have a project journal at the end of every week. This will be a Word document on my Wix website. I'll also have an evaluation at the end of our project for the short film. This will be able to see on my Wix website and YouTube. This will be on a Word document on my website as well.
Okay, good. Uh, was that any questions? Yeah, any um, questions. Right, okay. Um, how long is your short film? Uh, it's going to be about five minutes. Okay. Like around three to five minutes. That's quite a long, big project. Yeah. Particularly for someone who's on their own. Sort of thing. Do you worry that you might be overstretching yourself? Maybe a little, but I want to get better at the cinematography. Okay, no, I, I, I get that. Yeah. Um, my, my worry is that going on your own, going beyond two minutes in only a six week production period, which is all you've now got left you could fall into the trap where you might have the first minute is really well shot yeah. and then the last minute is rushed and it's therefore not your best piece of work. Um, for me, I would be thinking about bringing other specialists in to support you. Yeah. Not necessarily work, work as your group, but as you have identified yourself as a cinematographer and editor, then you're going to need someone to do record your sound for you. Yeah. Sort of thing. At the minimum, you're going to need sort of actors to work with yeah, and you're going to need to be able to direct that cast in order to get the performance you want in order for you to get the shots and the film yeah. that you want. So don't be afraid... <coughs> excuse me. Don't be afraid of actually going, I can't do this completely on my own. I need to bring other members in and it doesn't have to be people in, in college, it can be people outside, as long as you know what they're doing, mm. and that as long as you stick with doing your directing, um, cinematography and editing, that's fine. Okay. okay? But you need to be go think about what's achievable within that time limit. Um, it also seems that you've got a lot of ideas there that are not quite... Finalised. No, I haven't got the full like um, premise of the idea yet. It's just a really kind of dream, maybe some nightmares. I haven't really. Yeah, that that that, well, that worries me when you've come into a pitch and you've kind of gone, "Here's my idea. It's roughly this, but it's not yeah. quite. I don't quite know what I'm doing yet." Okay, you need to finalise that idea. Yeah. Massively. Um. And by doing that, that's going to help you cement who your target audience is, it's going to cement your style of it in mm. particular, um, and bits like that. Okay, any questions? Um, no. No? Okay.